Throughout the year, Strangford Loch is a hive of activity with a huge range of activities to choose from. In summer, sailing regattas splash colour across the water, attracting competitive and recreational sailors to navigate the tricky waters. During the months of July and August, not a week goes by without a regatta on the loch. Each of those sailing clubs takes part in an annual regatta, and there's one particular race, the Bar Boy Race, from between Strangford and Port Le Ferry, out to a boy, the Bar Boy, which is just out at the entrance of the lock here. It's an amazing race because it draws a lot of boats, lots of different classes of boats, big boats, little boats. And away they go racing and uh, enjoying this great crack, which is a fantastic race and always ends up with a great party, of course, for those that want. Canoeists and kayakers of all abilities paddle along canoe trails which wind along the coast and out to the islands. Taking to the water in one of these vessels is a great way to explore the loch and get up close to the marine life. If I want to go out canoeing and it's particularly windy, I can just drive to a different bit, jump in, and they have a lovely sheltered area. There's lots of really ex interesting things to explore, lots of little islands. Got the boffy on salt, so you can go out there and have a little camping trip away. There's loads of seals bopping around the place, lots of interesting things, and there's lots of other people about, so it's got a good energy about it. We do kayaking and canoeing, that's pretty much all I do. Sometimes I do swimming a bit. It's a very sheltered area where you can just hop on a boat, go out for the day, go canoeing take a picnic, just there's so much to do in such a small area and so many nooks and crannies to explore that you'll never be bored. I, I really think one thing you have to stand and watch is, is what the locals call the river. It, you know, that's, that's the tide going in and out. And it does that, well, basically four times a day. It's called a river locally because it looks like a river running in and out of the narrows. For those looking for an even more intimate experience, Strangford Loch is one of Northern Ireland's most accessible and best diving sites. Strangford Loch is very special for divers and there's several sites around Strangford, just behind us in Valley Henry Bay. Lee's Wreck here is a very, very popular dive site, so you can now swim in around the holes, you can see the rudder and it's a great place to see you know, uh, conger eels. The rich and varied marine habitats here hold a special allure for divers of all abilities. Back on the shores, the cycling and walking trails open the loch up to those who prefer to stay on solid ground. Whether taking a leisurely afternoon stroll or setting off on an adventurous exploration, Uh, one of the trails brings you along the shores of the loch and it really is beautiful, even if you want to go just for a walk for a mile, it's a beautiful area to see. And it's got so many interests, so many different people. You know, right from the bird watchers, you know, particularly when the tide goes out in the north end of the loch, you know, the, the diversity and the quantity of birds which you'll see up there is, is quite incredible. Throughout the year, a range of festivals and events provide great days out in beautiful and scenic surroundings. There, there's lots to do and see. One of the main events is uh, one of our international events, and that's the International Bread Festival. It's a fantastic event. People travel from outside of the United Kingdom to come to it. Uh, we always bring in three celebrity chefs. With so many access points and well-marked routes, Strangford really allows for a great family day out. The 
spectacular views and landscapes of the area afford some of the most scenic rounds of golf imaginable. Many of the visitors to the area come here simply to take in the spectacular views, the sea air and the relaxed atmosphere.